Uh, well, I wanted a white base. Uh, I wanted to, you know, dress it up in red, white, and blue for the uh, Memorial Day uh, service at our church. And so, uh, you know, I had in the back of my mind, eh, if I see anything, maybe I'll pick it up. I got an email from uh, Glary Music, G-L-A-R-R-Y, and I had bought a couple of their guitar cases off of eBay. Uh, they're, they're, they have hard shell cases that are, you know, cheap, flat top version for about 45 bucks or so. And I've had a few of those, so uh, uh, they, they emailed me, and they had a base. And it was some kind of wood grain looking thing, burly wood or something. And um, that's the name of it, burly wood. It looked like kind of a walnut or something. Anyway, it was 69 99 so I clicked on it and they had a white one so they were running some kind of five percent or I forget how much off uh, for uh, May Day um, so I I picked one up and and I got it uh, today and I ordered a set of DR uh, neon uh, strings in red, white, and blue. Uh, the guitar was uh, sixty-nine forty-eight delivered, and the strings were twenty-one dollars and twenty some cents. Anyway, here it is. Glary, G L A R R Y, music. And it's a precision bass copy. Um, it's there's no fret sprout. It's pretty decent put together the you know the, the finished job is pretty decent I, I don't see any major flaws uh, I set it up I had to adjust the string height a little bit and the pickup height I did not have to do anything with the nut the intonation is good if I play the G on the third fret it's a G um, with the E in tune <laughs> it's still it's still a G C, D, uh, there's an F on the third fret, and the G is, oh, this tuner calls it an A sharp. So, B flat, A sharp, whatever. Anyway, usually if the nut slots are, are bad, those notes would be pretty sharp. Uh, so anyway, there it is. Uh, uh, I didn't know what I've, I have tape wounds or flat wounds on all my bases. I'm not really a bass player. I've been playing guitar since I was about nine and I'm 67. I just started playing bass for the church a couple of years ago when, uh, you know, we needed a bass player. And uh, so I, I said that I would play bass. And so, I, you know, I, I have a few basses. I, usually I play, I have a Hofner Beetle bass, and I have a Rickenbacker 4003, and a uh, Fender Aerodyne, uh, which is a kind of a combination jazz precision bass, hybrid kind of a deal. Um, it's... Um, uh, this could t this base is I like I said I just got it to, to for the Memorial Day thing, and if it doesn't if it didn't sound good or anything I wouldn't bother using it but I think it sounds all right I didn't know whether I'd like these strings. Yeah, I think they're all right. So, um, 
The only thing I did to it cosmetic-wise, I put uh, some telly knobs on it. Uh, basically, the knobs that came on it looks very similar to that, only these these have a bigger, uh, you know, a, a more uh, coarse cut on the, the knurls. So, and, you know, pretty cool. You get, um, for the 6948, you get the guitar, the bass, uh, rather, um, a little chord. It's just one of them regular chords that come with the guitar. You, you've all seen them. Um, you get the Allen wrenches for the truss rod and the uh, bridge adjustment. And um, uh, the only thing is it comes in just the guitar box. You know, the trapezoid shaped box. Um, so I was a little, when I saw that, I was a little worried that it might be messed up from shipping. Uh, they send it FedEx, so, you know, <laughs> I've never really had any problem with any carrier. Uh, when I shipped a mandolin one time by the post office, it got busted, but I've, I've never really had too many problems with any of the major carriers breaking stuff. Um, so anyway, it was all right. It, you know, if I was them, I'd ship it in a in that box inside of another box, but maybe that's how they can sell them for 69 bucks. Anyway, so there it is. You have my Glary uh, precision based copy. I don't know what their model number is, um, but you know, like I said, no fresh fret sprout, minimal normal setup procedure, adjusted the pickup height and the string height. Nut slots were good, and I, and uh, it's got the uh, the vintage style open back, open gear, bass tuners. Uh, you know, I'm hard pressed to find anything wrong with it for $69.48. I mean, if I had spent $469, I might have a few issues with it, but for 69 bucks, it's nothing. So I think it'll, it'll look pretty cool for patriotic uh, Memorial Day service when we're going to do an America medley and stuff. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for looking. See ya.